Welcome to the Energy Conversion Lectures. Before I start, I would like to thank the people who will subscribe to this channel. Also, I appreciate the people who will comment about the clarity of these lectures. The main goal of these lectures is to study and analyze three groups of important energy conversion devices and machines. The first group is rotating electrical machines, including DC machines, induction machines, and synchronous machines. The second group is linear motion devices such as relays and solenoids. And the third group is the transformers. All of these machines and devices can be categorized into two energy conversion systems. The first system converts electrical energy into mechanical energy and is called the electromechanical energy conversion system. Rotating electrical machines and linear motion devices are the most important examples of this energy conversion system. The second system is called the electrical energy conversion system and it converts the electrical energy from one voltage and current level to electrical energy of another voltage and current level. Transformers are an example of such energy conversion system. These machines and devices are able to do these conversions and interactions because of the presence of a magnetic field. Without the magnetic field, these devices and machines are not able to do the conversion. Any of these devices must have some circuit to establish the magnetic field. The circuit used to establish the magnetic field is called a magnetic circuit. The magnetic circuit works as interface between the input energy and output energy. There are three aspects to establish the magnetic circuits or the magnetic field. The first aspect is the producing the magnetic field. In most electrical machines, the magnetic field is produced by using coil and passing electrical current. In some types of machines, magnetic fields are produced by using permanent magnets. The second aspect is the magnetic field medium. In all the above mentioned machines and devices, magnetic materials represent a major part of these machines and are used as a medium to obtain high magnetic field density. That means for the same amount of current used to produce the magnetic field, magnetic materials will have higher magnetic field density when compared with other materials. When we say we have high magnetic field density, it means we can get high machine output per unit machine volume. Therefore, the size of the machine is reduced when magnetic material is used. Now let's come to the third aspect. The third aspect is shaping the magnetic material. In all the energy conversion machines and devices, the magnetic materials are structures in a certain way to shape and direct the magnetic field to obtain high magnetic field density where desired. Now let's see how these three aspects are applied to different energy conversion machines and devices. Let's start with the rotating electrical machines. This figure shows a general cross section of one of the electrical machine types. In general, the rotating electrical machine has a static part and rotating part and in between there is an air medium to allow for the rotation. The machine is able to convert the electrical energy to mechanical energy and in this case the machine is called a motor. Also, the machine is able to convert the mechanical energy 
to electrical energy and in this case it is called a generator. As we mentioned earlier, the machines are able to do this conversion because of the presence of the magnetic circuit, which is used to establish the magnetic field. The aspects to establish the magnetic circuit of the electrical machines are coal and current to produce the magnetic field, magnetic material in conjunction with air medium, and circular structure to shape and direct the magnetic field. Now let's review the magnetic circuit of the relays. As you can see from the figure, the magnetic circuit of the relay are formed by coil and current to produce the magnetic field, magnetic material in conjunction with an air medium, and C structure of magnetic material to shape and direct the magnetic field. Again, the relay converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy because of the presence of this magnetic circuit. Now let's move on to the transformer. The transformer is used to convert the electrical energy from one voltage and current level to another voltage and current level. This conversion happens because of the presence of the magnetic field or the magnetic circuit. The magnetic field flowing through the magnetic material is produced by using coils and electrical current. The square structure of the magnetic material of the transformer is used to shape and direct the magnetic field and obtain high magnetic field density. To summarize, the magnetic circuit is important because it is responsible for the conversion of the energy. All the above devices and machines are able to convert the energy because of the presence of the magnetic field or magnetic circuit. The second important point we learned in this lecture is that the magnetic circuits in most of the electrical machines and devices are mainly formed by coil and electrical current, and magnetic material in conjunction with an air medium, or magnetic material medium only. Let's conclude this lecture at this point and we will continue in the next lecture. In the future lectures, we will learn more about the magnetic material properties and some methods for analyzing the magnetic circuits. Feel free to leave comments and suggestions. I am Ihsan al-Nabi and it was a pleasure sharing this lecture with you. Thank you.